Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be showing you how you could play Phasmophobia on a Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by opening up your Chrome browser or Safari, whatever browser you use. You're going to type in Windows 10 download. Once you have that, you're going to click on this first link. It should be a link by Microsoft.com that says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. That's what you want. It's going to take you to this page and then you're going to select the edition you want. I'm going to do Windows 10 confirm product language English confirm. And then you're going to download a 64 bit or 32 bit. If you don't know what version of Mac you have, go ahead and hit the top left Apple symbol on the corner of your screen. Scroll down to about this Mac and then it should open up this page. Once you have that page open, you're going to look at your processor. It says 1.4 quad core Intel Core i5. So you could Google that and it should come up with the type of processor you have, whether it's going to be 32 bit or 64 bit. For example, if the process is an Intel Core Solo or Intel Core Duo, it's a 32 bit only. If you have something like a quad core Intel i5, i7, any of those, those are going to be 64 bit. So once you figured out what bit processor you have, go ahead and click on the download button. Okay, and once you have the ISO file saved, go ahead and keep it somewhere where you know mine downloaded onto the downloads folder. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top right corner, search, and then you're going to search for Boot Camp Assistant. And it's going to look like this program right here. You're going to hit continue. For me, I already have it installed, but you're going to go ahead and click on your ISO file that you downloaded previously. And then it'll take you to the next window where you could adjust your partition for your Windows Boot Camp versus your Mac OS. If you're going to be mainly using your Mac for gaming, then you know, make sure you give yourself enough space to do that. And once you get that all figured out, the next step is going to be in Windows where it's going to boot up and install Windows 10 on your Mac computer. So after you have Boot Camp installed properly on your computer and you have all the drivers and you set up your Windows 10, what you're going to do is you're going to download Steam off of your web browser. For me, I already have Steam here. Once you have Steam, go ahead and search for Phasmophobia. I have it right here in my library. And you're going to download it. For me, it took about maybe an hour. Once you have it downloaded, you'll have this play button available and you'll click play, launch. And there you go. Now you have Phasmophobia on your Mac. And you know what, right now I'll do a little quick test gaming right now, just to show that it's running. Hello, hello. Uh, what levels everybody? I'm four. All right, let's do it. Uh oh. Oh yeah, is it below freeze? Oh, I see him. I see him. He's there. He's there. He's there. Take a picture. That's how you play Phasmophobia on a Mac. Uh, if you want me to do it and shoot my screen, uh, leave it in the comments. I could uninstall it on this computer or try it on another computer. Uh, leave it in the comments, leave a thumbs up if this helped, and make sure you subscribe. All right, peace.